everybody, it's Doug. In this video, we want to talk about publishing your property from development through staging and to production. Now, this is really going to consist of three things. One is, as you can see here, that we're going to move your library, your initial setup library, from development through staging to production, and it'll end up over here on the right in published. Okay, that's one thing. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to get the embed codes for staging and production, and we need to put those on our sites, on our staging server, and our production server. So that's another thing you're going to need to do. We'll talk about that in a minute. And the third thing is, and maybe we'll do this first, so we need to create the report suites for staging and production, and then make sure those are set correctly in the analytics extension configuration. So we'll go to our report suite manager, in analytics, and we've gone to admin report suites, and this has given us a list of our report suites. And here is our Geometrics Clothiers dev. And we don't have a stage and prod yet, so we need to create those. So we're going to create a new report suite, and instead of creating one from a template, we're going to actually create it from an existing report suite. So we come down here to our Geometrics Clothiers dev, and we use that as our template because now all the settings that we've set up, all the reports that we've named and all the settings and everything, that will be duplicated over to our new report suite. So now we can simply come down, can put in our new report suite ID. Remember we're gonna have a prefix of TMD, so we'll start with a dash and I'll put in geo-clothiers dash stage and that will be our report suite ID for the staging and we'll put in something friendly right geo metrics so there's stage or staging whatever you want there and we'll put in our time zone and we'll put in mountain time zone like we did on our dev report suite and we don't have to put in the URL on the page, it's fine. Go live date is fine. That's a couple days from now. And this is a staging one, so again, it might not be that many page views per day. Maybe it's, you know, a thousand for testing, or maybe it's ten thousand for testing, whatever. And then we will create a report suite. Okay, and we can see that the report suite TMD Geo Clothier Stage has been successfully created, and we're gonna do it one more time for production. So we'll just do that real quick here. We'll need to up our page views to whatever that number is going to be. Now for testing, I don't want to freak out our development team, so I'm going to leave it relatively low. But you put your real numbers here so that we can know exactly how much hardware to set aside for you for your estimated page views for day on your production report suite. So on your real site on the production servers. Okay, so our production report suite has been successfully created as well. And we'll just kind of go back to our list, take a look. And there they are, dev, stage, prod. Good. Now we jump back into launch because you're going to want to set that in our extension for analytics. So we go back to extensions, configure analytics. And now instead of having our dev report suite in all three places, which was never going to be what we wanted, we can actually drop this down and put in our staging report suite. So actually I can just take this. We had that already, but I can copy it there and then just do stage. And we copy it here and put prod. Okay, so now we have our dev report suite for dev, staging for staging, production for production. And so when we actually get our numbers going through those, it'll actually send to those report suites. Save that and build. Okay, and that's all done. So we're good. Now we can go back to publishing. And we can start to move this initial setup library through staging and production. Now, if you are kind of a one-person shop, then you've probably done all of your testing on the development servers and you're ready to go. If you're not and other people need to test it, then get them to test it. And once you are satisfied with that, you can take this drop down and you can say submit it for approval. Yep, want to submit that. 
And now it's in the submitted area here. And if you have multiple people that are going to test this and give the final OK on it, then they will be able to have the permissions to come in here. Again, those permissions can be set up in the Adobe Admin Console where the rights and all the privileges and those things are all set up. Uh, so you can actually go in here and do it yourself. You're kind of a one-man shop. So if you submitted it and you're only a one-person crew here, then you can go in and then you can build it for staging. Okay, so we can see that that is successfully built on staging. Now, how are we going to test that on staging? Well, it's ready for it here, but potentially we haven't put the embed codes on our site on the staging server. So at some point here, before you really go through all this process, you're going to want to go to environments. You're going to want to get the staging embed codes. Copy that. And then you're going to want to implement that on your site. So for example, if I jump over to my site and this is my index.php. So if this were on my staging server, then just like I did on dev, I would put that into the head of my page and it will look a little different than this because of course this one said development. So let's pretend that that was and I didn't have that there. We'll take that out and then we'll put in our staging embed code. You can see that it says staging. Now, of course, you're probably not going to hard code it like this, but you're going to put it in some kind of an include so that it's on all your files of your site on your staging server. But that's where you're going to get the code. And then on your production server, you're going to actually include then, of course, the production embed code. So this will be your production embed code. It'll kind of look like this. It won't say staging and it won't say development. And so that will then utilize the production environment in launch. And because we configured the analytics extension with the production report suite, then on your production site, it'll start sending that data into your production report suite. And of course, you're going to want to test it all along the way in development, test it on staging, and then again, test it on production to make sure it's okay. So we jump back over to our publishing. And after it has been thoroughly tested on staging, of course, then we can submit and approve that for publishing. And it's approved. And then when we're ready to go, we can build and publish it to production. And when it's done, it moves over to published. It has when it was published, time and date. And now, again, it will go into your report suite for production because that is what we assigned to it with our environment. So we are good to go and you're ready. Now, before we leave this, I will say that now when you want to add something more to your site and you want to add some additional tracking, you simply create a new development library, test it, it will include everything upstream and the new things. And then you can test that. And when it's ready again, you can move it along through staging and production and keep on going. And again, remember always to test it in development and staging and always make sure that you document it here in the SDR and the business requirements document as well, and that you're setting up the variables and the admin console and going through all the steps that we've been through through these videos. So good luck.